All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. There's only one more level left to do in this loop, and then presumably the castle will be unlocked. Nitroglycerin Betrayal by World Peace. <laughs> that is certainly a name. Like, you just found two words and put them together. Okay, so do I want to go down here first, or do I want to go near the bomb first? Uh, oh. You've got a bunch of bomb bombs. Press L or R to place a bomb or blow it up. Oh, wow, I just, uh... Oh, I can place them wherever I want to. And then detonate them whenever I want to. Sweet. Well, I was scared of that thing hurting me somehow, but apparently that's... Okay. So now we just detonate it over there, and I can run underneath. Um, so I probably want to, uh, okay, I can't trigger it that way, so I guess this will trigger the block? Oh no, that'll just get rid of those so that I can trigger the block myself. Hooray! Goodbye freak to you. Probably kill the mole like that. I'll need to detonate this eventually, and then I'll just want to stand in that gap. Okay. Good chance. One of the thing I it's, uh, it's nice about world peace levels is that you very often get the chance to just stop and observe. Did it disappear? Oh, okay. So I can't go all the way over there. Okay, let's do that now and then get on a plum at the side. All right. Ignore you. I probably don't want to use it to kill the plant because I might trigger the bomb by mistake too. I might use it to kill this plant if it actually goes far enough. No, it doesn't. I think that I can kill you with it, so that makes this a little bit easier. For whatever that's worth at any rate. Yeah, that has to go left because it just hits the wall. Alright, so I'm supposed to drop a bomb down there and then blow it up. So here I just want to uh, align myself with the platforms and avoid the spiny. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, well I blew it up when it was already in the lava, I just assumed it was gone, but... There we go. See ya. <laughs> Don't have to deal with you now. Can I blow you up too? <laughs> nice. So this is pretty easy. With the thwimp gone, there's nothing left to react to, so... And it just sets me down there. How nice. So... Okay, whenever I detonate this, I just need to go. No dragon coins, so I don't need to worry about that. Or at least... If there are dragon coins, I forgot about it, and they're all sitting in the same place or something like that. Oh wow, what is this? Some sort of funky auto-scroll slash bomb thing? <laughs> Anyways. Duck jump over here. Much easier than jumping on the guy, that's for sure. I mean, I could do stuff like that with the standard Mario platforming and everything, but... When I've got the tools to do it this way, why not? Especially since it's cooler and all. Well, that didn't quite work. But the important thing is I got the midpoint, not that I didn't take damage. I'll never have to do that obstacle again, so... Bowser invented a spiky bot which is immune to explosions. Watch out as it detects movement on its horizontal plane. Okay. So... Okay, I... Uh, I can bounce. So it's only when I touch the ground. When I'm in the air next to it, it's not going to trigger. Um, I guess I just do this. There's nothing really to do in that section down there. Doesn't look like there's anything I need to worry about here either. Let's just go into the pipe. Um, let's just detonate that as quickly as possible. And, whoa! 
Dang it. Accelerate it. They accelerate pretty fast. Faster than most obstacles do. See ya. Not gonna... No reason to kill those spike tops. It's not worth the effort. Alright, let's move you back towards the wall. Just... Okay, I just want to go in there. Oh. I guess I need to... I mean, not too bad, but, um... Let's move you back over. Now I just need to run, and now you're down there. Which doesn't matter, I still have to deal with you, but... Okay, let's just do this. I've got to lure you to the left and then go back. Or maybe I need to move you to the right. These ones I need to move to the right. <laughs> immune to explosions, but not immune to falling. This guy just falls. I'm, I'm not sure if I can kill him or not, but I don't need to kill him, so... There we go. Let's just go through here. Oh cool, so the pink block is where it goes around in a loop. That's interesting to know. Well anyways... This isn't hard. I'm wondering if I can lure those into the lava, but it's not worth the effort, probably. Wow, I just blew myself up. Well, I betrayed myself with nitroglycerin. Does that count? <laughs> See ya. I'm not sure why I bothered killing that guy, but... There we go. Do that. And now, just avoid the thwomp. There we go. Go through here. A. Okay, I want to drop them, and then I want to spin jump. There we go. And then through this pipe. Cool. Um, so there's a trick here that I want to blow those guys up. Maybe. I can drop a bomb there and get three of them. That seems like the easiest course of action rather than trying to blow it up in midair. One up, mushroom. <laughs> I'm back at the midpoint room now, but it's telling me very definitively to go for that pipe, so... I'm assuming it'll be a little bit different this time around. Oh, there's the door that'll let me go through. And I need to lure him away this time. So now it's less of a tutorial and more of an actual obstacle. One and two. Oh, there's one. There's the second one. So, this will give me one dragon coin, this will give me two, and this will give me the moon. I'll go for the dragon coins first, obviously. When the switch is off, the skull raft will stop moving. Yeah, okay, I can't just... For a second I was wondering if they were part of the background. If I could just walk up and get it, that would be pretty funny. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be more of a puzzle than anything. Um, so when it's this state, the skull ref stops moving. There's nothing up here. But I can use it to drop a bomb and release the skull raft. If I only want two parts of it. Oh, that's something I can certainly do. Alright, I'm thinking that's exactly what I do want to do. I think I want to release them side by side to- whoa, that was close. Or I can just do this, but this kills me, so that was dumb. There isn't even a reset door over here. Well, I can go out with a bang. <laughs> oh. Well, I just blew myself up for no reason. <laughs> Congrats to me for doing that. That's one way to die. So I probably want one to be uh, under here, and the other one to be over to the left. So I want quite some distance between them. In fact, I might want them to be all the way over in the other end. I'm wondering if it's just timed that way with the conveyor. 
So let's let it go all the way over to the right, and no, I just made my platform smaller, so that was not good. So let's do it like that. Yeah, it definitely needs to be farther over to the left. Alright, let's try lined up with the door. I also want it to be a little bit farther over this time. Alright, maybe I can make that. Since I know the lava is just a reset, there's no reason not to try. Unless I'm completely certain that it's never going to happen. And there I go! There's the first dragon coin. So let's try number two. Point of advice, the black urchins are immune to throw blocks. Good to know, I suppose. Wow, this is kind of loopy. And then, A. So I want some of the urchins to go and some of the others to be differently timed. Don't know if I want this block hit or not, but I'm going to assume for the- oh, whoops. Alright, let's just start off the chain and see what happens. Okay, so they're all definitely moving, and they don't hit the wall, which is good to know, I suppose. I'm going to die if I try to go any farther. I was hoping maybe I could just make it over, but that's not going to happen that way. Wait, can I... It said they were immune to throw blocks, but they're presumably not immune to my bombs, so... Maybe I'm supposed to just blow them up. I can't get up there at this point. This goes around in a loop like that. Well, at least I'm not going to take a damage this time, but... I can't just trigger this by hitting my head on it, which is unfortunate. Feels like I'm supposed to drop a bomb here, hit the throw block, and then uh, let it go. That doesn't really work. When the switch is hit, I don't see a way to get up there. Except for maybe, like, awesome timing there. This doesn't feel like the right solution. Yeah, and there's a delay before I can blow it up, too, so there's no way I can just drop it on them with good timing. No, oh, and I even have to make it over there with the mushroom, so I can't even cheese it like that. Oh well, I thought that would be funny to try at least. I definitely can't hit the switch from up there, either. At least I don't know of a way to do it. Oh, so they act as one giant wall. You can't actually uh, stop one from moving without stopping any the others from moving as well. Hang on, I think I figured this out now. I I can drop that there, then I drop the bomb here, and then I hit the switch after. There we go. Then I just do that, and taken out the rest of the urchins. And then I mess it up anyway, well whatever. <laughs> the hard part's done, I just need to execute it. I think this is still good. Oh, no, maybe it isn't. I've got to take them all out, except the bottom one. There we go. Now let's try not to mess it up this time.
Finally, that took me longer than I probably should have to solve, but now I have all the dragon coins. Now let's try the moon. Oh boy, this is a lot of stuff. And I don't think I had a hint this time. Or did I just forget to read it? Nope, there's no hint. I just have to figure it out all by myself. I guess that's moons for you. Um, okay. Alright. I'm not even sure what my goal is here. I don't even see a moon. <laughs> Whoops. I'm assuming these interact with 1FO? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I guess I was just supposed to get to the door. That would make sense. So I've got to hit two on off. I've got to hit the on off switch twice, and I got to be in there the first time it happens. So that just goes straight on through, leaves that intact, and that kills that. Then the blue shell falls and kills the red shell. So I guess maybe I want to uh, blow up one of the other ones. So the red shell falls, then the I... So let's do this first. The red shell falls, it gets bounced up, but then it hits the blue shell. If I can catch the blue shell with one of the other ones, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. No, that doesn't really work. So now I'm flipping up the blue shell. So now what happens if I just hit this? Oh. Alright, so that's step two, essentially. That allows me... But I have to flip it again, I realize now, because there's another set. So how do I engineer a third switch hit? Okay, so when it's in this state, I'm thinking I want the red shell to be hitting the bottom note block with the disco, and the blue shell to be hitting the top, uh, to be getting caught by the top note block with the disco. I'm not sure how to do that, but I think if I do that, I can just leave a bomb right here, step on the P switch, blow up the bomb, and then uh, have the second shell fall down as well. So I feel like my goal in that case is to Catch a, catch a shell with each block, but I'm not sure how to do that yet. Yeah, see, it just falls too fast. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> I don't really know what the solution is. Uh, since it's just a mo for a moon, I'll just continue going, I suppose. Let's see what happens now. Do I get a path to the castle? Nope. This is in this level seems kind of random, but it's actually just the path onwards. I thought there might be something uh, weird, like oh, all six levels seem to be completed, and then the path will open. But so sadistic, it's mischievous by Lol Yoshi. Well, it says sadistic in the title, so we know we're in for a rough time now. It's a Lol Yoshi Castle level. level. The last one went pretty well, I suppose, but uh, I don't even need that yellow switch palace block. It just doesn't even do anything for me. So I'm wondering... Oh, oops. 
I'm wondering what the trick is to this level. Or even if there is one. Maybe it's just a castle level. I don't know. Whoops. Well, that wasn't the best use of my cape. Yoink. Also, this is an obvious VIP reference with the title. Whoa. <laughs> That's weird. Alright, these are fallen ones, so we gotta jump back out. Or go forward faster, I suppose, but I didn't really want to do that. Go back and forth, and then we can grab the vine. Easy enough. Whoa, this is weird. Oh, I think this is just normal. There's no technology going on here. Well, since I didn't use the cape very well, this is actually very helpful. <laughs> um, oh, it's a 1-up. Well, I'll take it, I suppose. Power-up would have been nicer, but I just got one, so I, I'd be a jerk to complain about that. Whoops. Oh, well, that was a fail. Now I have to actually go on the platform now. Whoops. Let's try to go on the platform when it's going down next time, because that didn't work very well. Whoops. No, that's not what I wanted to do with that. Again, I'm on tilt because I've spent a long time solving a puzzle, and now I'm just kind of brain dead, because... I haven't been platforming in a while. Oh, well, thank goodness for that. not to be an idiot this time. I, I walked over to the coins because there were coins there, and that it turned out to be the not a good move. Alright, got just enough time to slip under that. Just stand in the middle here. This is like some sort of discount boot ring, I suppose. <laughs> Let's just avoid that spike. That's not too bad. That was pretty close. I was hoping to make it onto the platform, but I didn't. Okay, I've got to just jump over it and then keep going there. is definitely intimidating. Especially since if you mess up, you're going in the drink. There we go. Even Big I managed to make it that time now that I knew what I was doing. Oh, if I have any of the Switch Palaces, I can't get this mushroom. Well, that's unfortunate. And that didn't work at all. Hopefully I don't really need that mushroom. Okay, we just gotta go fast. Hey, that last one is a little bit different. What is it? It's a mushroom. Oh boy. Well, at least I've got one of them. Okay, so this section is go fast before the disco breaks your stuff. And it looks like there's another opportunity for a mushroom over here. Let's just get over here and reset it so that I can get another one, hopefully. Oh, hey, the... That makes it even easier for me to get another one. Okay, this might be another one of the... Another sort of... Okay, I need the disco still. I was thinking I needed the mushroom, but it looks like I need the disco. <laughs> At least I can bounce on them normally now, so... Which, honestly, 
might not help that much. Uh, I guess maybe I should crush the first one. Um, okay, I need to reset if I want the dragon coin. Also, how do I get to that? I'm not really sure. I thought there was an invisible block there because of the coin, but I guess not. Alright, so let's just crush you and then use the second disco as quickly as I want. Oh, now that I've gotten rid of that coin, this block spawned. Well, that's a really strange thing. I suppose, but oh well. I'll get rid of the, that first disco there. Dang it. That didn't work. Uh oh. That was pretty close. <laughs> that was definitely mischievous. Spin jump on you, so I obviously need to do that to keep going. And thanks for the heads up on that working. Uh, I mean, on the disco killing these things. Because without that, I probably would have died. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> Just barely made it in there in time. And now we're back to this area. I guess the idea was probably not to dodge the spike on the vine, but to keep going. Whatever. I didn't react fast enough to avoid damage, but at least I got the coin. I don't think I'd like to go back through the first half of this level again, so... Better make sure I get all the coins here. Okay, this isn't too bad. Okay, this is kinda nasty. Let's see if the timing changes at all. Yeah, it's changing slowly, but... There we go, that was the right timing. Wow, that was close. And this is really scary. Okay, maybe not as bad as I thought it was, but... Slipping in one tile gaps would be a lot worse than some of the X, that's for sure. Okay, just stand here, no need to risk it, and then use the cape. This forces me to wait in the center. Oh no, this is nasty. Gotta get it and then line myself up with the center. This is fine. Go. I can ignore that, and can and should. Can't really ignore this one. Just grab on for a brief time and then go. Alright, so I gotta fall in time with this thing. That barely worked. Okay, this isn't too bad skip the dry bone section, because why not? That goes all the way to the bottom, so I have to go. Thankfully, I can bounce on little Sparky, so it's not like it's that dangerous and an obstacle. That was pretty close, depending on how jank the physics for these things are. Oh, thank goodness for that wall. That would have been hard to get into otherwise. This level is quite long. I really hope I at least get that last dragon coin. Okay, that worked. I just went for it kind of randomly, but I saw my timing was pretty good, so I didn't second guess myself. How long is this gonna go for? Sheesh. Well, I lost that. That sucks. 
and I've got to work for this power-up too, even assuming this is a power-up. Yep, it's a power-up, but it wasn't worth it at all. Wait. How exactly am I supposed to break this? Oh, I need the throw block. It wasn't just for a power-up. Okay, Clyde with the first one. Dang it. Alright, it just creates a fine, but I'm at low HP now. I've still got the Rosary, if nothing else, but... I'm actually running out of time on this level. I had, like, 800 seconds to start with. Ugh. Man, this level is very, very long. Holy cow. Dang it. I went to re-grab the button, but ended up hitting my head- I mean, jumping again. Dang it. That was really bad, too. I could not jump any higher without hitting my head on the thing, but... And I couldn't wait because the platform fell, and I couldn't go far enough, so... Ah, oh, dang it. Stupid layer glitch. Just gotta land right on the edge of that. Go. That worked. Alright, let's do the thwomp and then go. There. That makes that a lot nicer. That worked. The Zerg Rush method didn't quite work. I just throw this one straight up. Man, that's not a very good strategy. Do I even need a block? Okay, that worked. There's no way I could take a block this far. Just bounce over to this thing. I'm assuming you are a maverick or something? No, you aren't. Oh, I'm supposed to spin jump onto the thwomp. And keep going. There we go, that worked. At least if I get the dragon coin, I don't need to get it again. Yep. Well, I'm going through the level again, but at the very least, I don't need to do it another time. Which is helpful. Navigate my way through there. Darn it. Oh, it was 
Nice while it lasted. I don't need to get the Dragon Coins, so let's just concentrate on going up here. Really hoping this is the end. Uh, another one of these, but that's it after that. At least for this room. A Resonor fight? After all of this? How absurd and cruel. Why do people think this is acceptable? <laughs> Screw this level designer. Okay, I'm assuming that this is just going to be a straight up normal vanilla Resnor fight. <laughs> and that's. Oh. It's not even that. There's just a Resnor staring at me from the top left corner, like, hey, nice job. Wow. That was a really nice marathon level. I feel like that level is probably what I. The Depraved Stronghold should have been, you know? Alright, Bowser's Castle. I certainly don't have enough time to do this today, so I'll call it there. See you next time.